Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. So again, I'm back with another control question of uh, gate 2024EC. So here, like why is this question interesting is that most of the students, maximum students may have mistaken here. Like even teachers can uh, make a mistake over here. How? Let's see. So what is the question? You have been given like a block diagram where R of T is given like this is the input and this is the C of T is the response and this is a unity negative feedback system and G of S is given like this 6 upon S into S plus 1 into S plus 2 and it has been given that R of T equals to U of T which is a unit step. So U of T is a unit step. Okay. Now E of t is defined as R of t minus C of t simple like error uh, form this is given and you have to find like what is the value of steady state error like this is simply limit t tends to infinity is simply uh, telling us what is steady state error like first option is 1 by 4 second is 0 third is it does not exist it is oscillatory fourth is it is 1 by 3 the steady state error now what what you might have done in a hurry that's why i tell you never mug up formulas and never be in a in a rush like uh, for very simple formulas yes you can uh, like very simple questions you can uh, do it in seconds but if the like if some trick question comes up then uh, like you just if you just simply use the formulas then you will uh, then like you will get stuck over that question or your question may go wrong so here what do you do you have a unit step input so for unit step input what you used to do you used to find the uh, position position error coefficient so my position error coefficient kp will be equal to simply limit as s tends to zero g of s which is in this case like as we have a pole at s equals to zero that means it is going to infinity now what was your steady state error it was 1 by 1 plus kp or a by 1 plus kp where a is my magnitude of my step in this case a is 1 hence this will be 1 only okay so this is 1 plus infinity this is 0 now you will mark option b but only this is wrong this is wrong why because just remember one thing we can only apply all this limit s tends to 0 all these things only when the system is like uh, response is stable only when the response is stable if the response in itself is not stable then i cannot apply my final value theorem all of these formulas are coming from the final value theorem and if the final value theorem isn't applicable then we can't apply anything just we have to solve from the basics itself so just be careful about this so that's why i always recommend solve from the basics no need to remember formulas okay so here uh so let's find the error now so what is e of s e of s will be simply r of s minus c of s okay so e of s is r of s minus c of s simply i have done the inverse laplace of this now c of s is coming over here and r of s is here so this is the e of s that we know now my r of s is 1 by s okay and like what i can do is i can take common r of s here that we usually do to derive the formula so 1 minus c of s upon r of s which is the transfer function okay so what is this equal to what is the transfer function equals to so my transfer function will be equals to this so uh, like not my transfer function this whole thing right this whole thing 1 upon 1 plus c of s will be simply uh, s into s plus 1 into s plus 2 okay s into s plus 1 upon s plus 2 divided by this i will multiply this will be s into s square plus 3s plus 2 plus 6 and like this is the bracket term and the outside i have s into what is r of s so uh, okay uh, sorry let's not use this r of s is this okay r of s is this so here if i see that how, what is my response here simply this s will get cancelled so this will be s plus 1 into s plus 2 divided by s cube plus 3s square plus 2s plus 6 now what do you notice like this is this is what this is the characteristic equation so if we equate this one with 0 my characteristic equation is s cube plus 3s square plus 2s plus 6 equals to 0 hence uh, what will happen here basically I observe that my internal product is equals to external product or you can solve using the route Hurwitz criterion also hence 3 to 2 equals to 6 hence I, my system is marginally stable my response is marginally stable or you can say or like the poles lie on the imaginary axis because I have only three poles two poles will directly lie on the imaginary axis and one of them will lie on the left hand side okay as all the coefficients are positive one of them will lie on the left hand side 
so basically what will happen over here so as my this response is marginally stable then i cannot i cannot simply apply the final value theorem i cannot simply apply the final value theorem my response will be oscillatory my c of t will be oscillatory okay now as my c of t is oscillatory hence what is e of t e of t is r of t minus c of t now what is e of infinity it is r of infinity minus c of infinity now this is constant this is one unit step only but this is oscillatory this is oscillatory so one minus something oscillatory will also be oscillatory so e of infinity will be oscillatory okay so my correct answer to this question will be c like um, a steady state value of error signal will not exist here my e of t will oscillate error signal will always oscillate because the response in itself is not stable what is e of t e of t is either r of t minus e of t hence the response itself is not stable that's why so always be careful about this type of question like you just see the type of the system it is type 1 hence you simply use that uh, error coefficient formula like uh, s g of s like g of s s tends to 0 infinity hence you put the state error 0 no you ha also have to all these are derived from that uh, final value theorem and if the final value theorem isn't applicable then obviously all these are not valid just be careful about that so yeah so thank you for watching this uh, solution i hope you like this if you do it did so then do hit the like button and i will see you in the next video thank you